Well, hello. Um, I thought I should probably do a bit of a follow-up vlog um, on my previous vlog where I got all personal. Um, I, I think I may have inadvertently caused um, some panic amongst some people, but mostly I just wanted to say thank you. Um, so many of you left lovely comments um, after that video. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I think I need to clarify. When I, when I say I won't be including personal stuff, you'll be getting plenty of me and my thoughts and how I'm feeling and stuff like that. Um, this is what Hubner is. Hubner is me and my cars, and um, or me and other people's cars, increasingly often. People just standing in the road, as you do. It's really helpful. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping not too much will change. Obviously, the location will change. Um, I'm still not sure how long I'm going away to New Zealand for, but I've got a feeling it'll probably be about three months, um, is a, a rough guess at this stage. Um, and then I will come back to Wales, I think. Um, I'll be keeping an eye on the um, way of the world, but um, yeah, I, I will. Um, I, I do plan to come back. Um, I want to tinker with my cars. I have a better space for tinkering on my cars now. Uh, rather than my pokey little very messy garage um, so um, yeah I'm, I'm hoping actually I can take the tinkering up to a next level I've got big plans for some of my cars oh now we've got the council standing in the middle of the road it's all good fun this morning isn't it what's going on um, so yeah the videos will definitely keep coming Hubner is not going to end that's never even been the slightest thought in my mind um, I, I've always thought Hubnut will continue. Um, there will be some differences for a few months while I go travelling, but I will still be making videos as I go. Uh, I will do some about New Zealand. There are parts of New Zealand I'll definitely want to share with you. But it won't be anywhere near the intensity of the 2CV trip. I got too carried away. I was creating too much content there, I think, and making episodes that were too long. I uh, had a fair bit of feedback that people just didn't have the time to watch them and uh, that's not the point at all so um, I will try and be a bit sharper with my editing and a bit snappier with my recording um, to hopefully make the New Zealand trip interesting for you because I think it will be slightly amused that there are people going why on earth would you go to New Zealand um, presumably these people know nothing about New Zealand it is a land of great beauty and um, so far, if the emails I've received are anything to go by, very nice people as well. So, um, hugely looking forward to it. And uh, with Australia relatively close, it's not as close as you think, um, but it's still a lot closer to New Zealand than it is to Wales, it makes sense to hop over there and see what's going on a bit as well. I mean, you're going to need years to try and see all that Australia has to offer. But we'll try and get a bit of a flavour down the east coast, uh, at the very least. Uh, it should be fun times. Uh, so, yeah. And so, some people thought I was a bit down and have been a bit down recently in videos. Um, I don't think I'm down. Uh, maybe people are reading too much into something that isn't really there. Um, I'm quite happy at the moment. I'm having a really nice time. There's certainly anxiety about this trip. Uh, never undertaken something on this scale before so it, it's all going to be new and um, traveling solo is also new Croatia was my first real experience of that I've never gone traveling on my own before um, so in some ways you get massive freedom in other ways too much freedom oh little MG lovely uh, little T type I think so yeah it's um, Things are changing, but things often do change, but I'm very positive about how things are going to change. Um, I'm looking forward to it. And um, if, if it seemed I was despairing a bit and grumbling, then I think it's something us YouTubers go through. Don't forget, none of us YouTubers are professional YouTubers. We're all just finding our way through it, and the interaction with you, the audience, is very much part of that. And um, knowing where the boundaries lie between what we should share, what we shouldn't, um, that's all part of it. And um, sometimes we get it right, and sometimes we get it wrong, and you go, no, we don't even want to see this. Uh, and I must also apologize to those people who found the slurping of tea um, 
rather unpleasant. Uh, the microphone picked that up far better than I was intending. Um, so sorry about that. No more tea slurping in videos, hopefully. But I mean, the interaction is what it's all about. And uh, obviously I've worked in the classic media um, for many years, um, writing features for magazines, editing magazines. And the interaction just is not on the same level at all. Whereas now, suddenly people want to know everything about you and um, you, you get messages on social media, on the comments and um, emails and it can get a bit overwhelming at times. Uh, I had a bit of a freak out um, on social media fairly recently. I've noticed fellow creators have similar sort of moments. Um, yeah, it, it can get a bit much um, because you kind of feel you're always in the public eye and people always want a response immediately and um, I have to get better at actually taking some time out. I have been, over the past few weeks, uh, I've been getting better at um, actually uh, taking some time out and uh, making some time for me. Because it's been pretty full on with Hubnut recently, I have been pushing it very, very hard because I feel I have to. Um, if you're committing to it as your sole source of income, you have to take it pretty seriously. So I have been pumping videos out at a very high rate and working solidly um, for you know, the best part of two years on making the channel what it is. Um, so yeah, it's about time I remembered that I need to make a little time for myself. But I don't think that's going to affect the channel. Um, it just means I might not post with quite the same frequency. I've been, I mean, I rarely go longer than three days without a video at the moment, and uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to keep that going. Fortunately for you, I've actually got a backlog of road tests, so even when I'm flying to New Zealand and trying to settle in and get my head around what's going on, uh, I should have some um, videos to show you, and I've got some lovely cars to come as well. Uh, everything from a Citroen Visa twin pot um, to a Land Rover Discovery V8, a Renault 21 Symphony. Oh, there's some lovely stuff to come. And um, yeah, I, I'm very pleased to have that little backlog to sit on. There's some very busy days. When I went and shot the Matiz versus Seicento video, I think I ended up shooting nine videos in two days. So um, yeah, I'm, I, I have, oh, there's a bib, don't know who that was. Um, but if you drive, I think that was a Ford Ranger pickup, uh, then hello. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, no, generally things are going to be brilliant, so it's all right. But yeah, this, this relationship is um, generally very enjoyable. I mean, so many of my comments are pleasant and um, not all creators can say that. Um, some people on YouTube get a very hard time and some of the comments are awful. Uh, I generally delete my awful comments, I don't get very many, so it's not a very onerous task. But um, yeah, there's some very, very bitter people in the world, I think, who seem to think they can make themselves feel better by um, having to go at people on YouTube. And um, yeah, trolls, always a problem with the internet from its earliest days, it's very sad really. Which brings us to social media as well, I guess. I've been trying to pull myself back a bit off social media, but that caused a mild uproar. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying my best with social media, but trying to post in so many different places, and I refuse to use an aggregating app that will just, you know, I do one post and it sends it everywhere because I don't think they work very well, and I think you lose the intimacy. Um, I do like the interaction, it's just sometimes it, can get a bit much, especially if I say something that you all then respond to. It's like, ah, can't cope with all these responses. Um, it's a strange old world, the world of YouTube. Anyway, I think that's quite enough waffle. Uh, I'm just enjoying a little drive in the City Rover, which continues to go well. I'm pleased to report, bit of a follow-up to the last City Rover video, that the um, check engine light has gone out all of its own. Um, so we've done about three or four um, drives and restarts and it's clearly reset whatever needed resetting so it's happy again and um, driving really nicely it must be said I mean the seats I don't like these hard seats but 
then all modern cars seem to have hard seats these days. You no longer sink, seem to sink into a seat. Um, I think partially that's um, crash standards, anti-submarining, to stop you slipping underneath the seatbelt. But um, given how high up the driving position is here, I'm not sure how much of a risk that is anyway. That's one of the things I like about this style of seating, is the fact the floor is so low compared to the seat base. So you feel more like you're sitting on a chair at home, which is how I like to sit. I don't sit at home with my backside a few inches off the ground. Not generally, anyway. But there you go, just an, another bit of a, an insight into my world as I um, head to the shops to get myself some luncheon. Um, yeah, thank you for your uh, lovely messages once more. And uh, I look forward to um, some more hot car action coming your way soon. Tomorrow, we've got a road test that you definitely won't expect. Should be fun times. So I shall say, thank you very much for watching. Um, usual subscribe shop stuff. Um, yeah, links in the description if you wish to go shopping at the Hubnut store. And uh, I shall catch you in a future video. Ooh, we're into the trees. Farewell.